What's up guys and welcome to this week's episode of We Are The Bonsai Supply. I am Jerome and today we're going to work on one of my very favorite styles, Root Over Statue. I have two examples here of a uh, Root Over Statue. One we have a, a smaller version and this tree has been in training for I want to say about four to, four to six years now and this one has just been created last year. So this one is obviously not as far along and it's going to get its very first styling today. Now this one, since it has been in styling a lot longer, you can see what I'm trying to get to with this tree. Um, I have a few challenges with this tree because this tree is very tall. What I mean by that is that the statue is about this tall and then the tree is on top. Where over here, it's a lot smaller and the tree kind of frames the statue. So both of these trees are green mount ficuses. And for me, the yeah, go-to species for root over statue is always green mount ficus. Uh, any type of ficus works really well. Um, the uh, willow leaf ficus would also be a good candidate. Um, I just really connect with the uh, green mount ficus. It's one of my favorite ficuses. So that's why this is my go-to ficus. The way that I attach this tree onto the statue uh, is the same exact way as if you would do a uh, root over rock. So you can either take the statue and place the uh, tree on top of the statue and uh, manually put all of the uh, roots the way that you want them to be and then cover the roots with moss and wait until they hit the ground. That's what I did with this tree right here. I did the same actually with this one as well. You could also take the statue, bury it uh, in soil and then add the tree on top and have the roots attached naturally. Uh, both of these cases I just preferred to um, lay the roots down manually. Now on both of these trees, the tree is completely attached. I couldn't uh, take it out even if I wanted to. So I actually don't really have a plan with this tree just yet. I do know however that I need to go ahead and defoliate it so that I can see all the branches. Uh, the foliation also restores the vigor of the tree so I get more branches from the inside. So right now all the, all the leaves and the branches are a little further out. I want to have more branches in here, so therefore you go ahead and defoliate it, which uh, number one, restores the overall vigor, number two, it brings more inside branches uh, closer to the trunk, which can be achieved by defoliation. It also brings back uh, a lot more branches and smaller leaves as well. Uh, now I have to defoliate it so that I can see the overall structure. Now a couple challenges that I foresee with this tree is that one of my main challenges is that the tree is sitting so far up and that you have a lot of negative space here and as well over here but I don't really have a direction of where I want to go with this tree just yet so all I'm going to do right now is just go ahead and defoliate it and then I'm going to look at the structure and then decide which way I want it to go So now that the tree is defoliated, the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the entire tree and uh, clean up all of the uh, dead parts. So there's a lot of branches in here that need to be cut back a little bit like this one up here. So all of these knobs here need to be cleaned up a little bit before I start the wiring. So these were just old branches that were cut back or maybe they were broken off. And so what you do is when you want to remove a branch, you never cut it flush with the trunk. You always leave a little stub like this. And then once it's uh, died back far enough, that's when you can go in here and clean it up properly. Um, die back, every, every tree has die back. So meaning that if you cut a branch, cut this branch back, you will cut it back to here first. And then it will die back, the little uh, piece that you leave dies back. And then once this has died back, you can come here and clean it up again. If you cut it flush with the branch, uh, if you cut it flush back like this, the die back might actually go into the branch and you could potentially lose the entire branch. Right, so now 
that I cleaned up the tree, it is really time to start to decide on which way I'm going to go with this tree. So, so this branch right here, this branch just comes from behind his back and grows over his back, like over his head like this. And so this branch needs to go because this branch could potentially block his entire face. And what's the point in that? So, this is gone. Now, what I'm going to do next here is I'm going to go through the entire tree and remove all the third branch. I didn't think I said that right. So I'm going to go through, and if you look at this branch, it has three branches that come out of the exact same space. So you always want to remove one, okay? If you leave all three, it's going to bulk up here, and then the branch becomes very ugly right here. So I always choose to take out the middle piece, and then I can go ahead and wire these two branches into position, and then it looks really, really nice. So actually, when you start a bonsai tree, you always want to have branches of twos. So it goes two, and then from here, you want to have another two. So if you have another branch that comes here, you would have two again, and a two, and a two, and a two. So that's how you want to start the tree. So I'm going to get started, start off the tree uh, the right way. So like this branch, and here's the third one. I'm going to take that out. And up here we have the same situation in here. So I always like to take out the middle. Um, I've heard of a lot of people that do it different ways to take out either one of the outsides. I like to take out the middle um, because then I have enough space in here to wire these two branches together and give them a really nice shape. If they're too close, it's really difficult to give them a nice shape. So one thing that I really don't like in bonsai is this right here. You see how these two branches here come out of the exact same place and then we have another branch on top here, right? So I don't like to have uh, two branches to come out of the same place for uh, a very good reason actually because if I leave these two branches this becomes very thick and starts to bulge up and then you have this ugly uh, knob here um, that just looks really bad so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this one because so this branch I'm gonna wire this branch out and in this one I can use it as a back branch now in here I have the exact same problem again I have three branches that come out of the exact same space now what I like to do is remove these and just keep this one and then I'm going to wire it and then of course I would like to have more branches come out here but the immediate branch that comes out of the uh, main trunk I always like to have just one branch. So here's another situation in here where these two branches come uh, really close out of the exact same area so I'm going to have to eliminate one of those. So if I choose to take this branch away I might also have to take this one away pretty soon because these two are very close together as this branch starts to take it up it will start to uh, go into this area and then this one it will be create again a very large knob so I'm just gonna go ahead and take out this middle piece here so here we go here we are and then I have the same situation here again where these two branches come out of the exact same space so I'm going to take out this top branch here now here I have again the exact same situation where I have both of the branches that come out of the exact same spot so I'm going to have to eliminate one of those and I want to keep this one because when I wire this one I can place it much better than if I were to wire this one um, it just always looks awkward, so I'm just going to take this one out. And always remember to leave a little stop there. The rest looks really good. Today I'm just going to focus on uh, placing the main uh, branches and just put a structure into the design. I'm not really focused on you know wiring every single branch and making it as beautiful as possible. Today I'm just laying down the bone structure and then I'm going to work off of that. So to get the tiny little branches, that comes with many many more defoliations so in order to turn this into Angkor I have to go ahead and defoliate it um, maybe three times this year an additional three times from today and I have to make sure I fertilize it really well I water enough I spray for insecticides so that the tree is really really healthy and then 
as I continue doing this process constantly where I um, you know, remove all the leaves and then wire again, remove all the leaves, wire again, I can slowly turn this tree into angle as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and wire the entire tree and then we're going to go ahead and style it, okay? So I'm going to do this fast paced as always. finally finished. Um, I'm really happy with the uh, result. Um, I think it's a very great first styling of the tree. Um, I really love how I was able to uh, make these branches very heavy and bring them down. So um, it makes the tree just naturally already look so much older because the branches are so heavy. Now I don't want to have a, a triangle in here that's not what I'm going for. I want this side to be much shorter and this one to be a lot longer so that the tree does not look too man-made. Now if I had an even crown um, all the way around like a triangle, it would look really bad I think because the statue looks so natural the way that the tree is attached. And so if I have one side shorter and one side longer, it just adds to keep the tree as natural as possible. And I think it's really cool how I was able to put these really heavy bends into all of these branches. Um, I would like the canopy, of course, to be a lot more dense. Um, the only thing that I was not able to do just yet is to fill this gap in here. But, you know, like I said, this is the very first styling, so maybe next time I defoliate it, I'll have some branches in here that I'm going to be able to use in here. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very pleased the way that it came out. The tree has been, the tree has been on the statue for a little over a year now and um, it has already fully attached um, you can see the roots in the back um, this is completely attached and um, I'm hoping for a little more roots in the front that would be nice a couple more heavy roots um, but all in all I'm very pleased with the uh, tree uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, please let me know what you guys think of this Sion uh, statue and uh, I'll catch you guys next time